Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I did a video earlier this morning on this same exact clip art, and I separated it by colors after I uh, traced it with the find and replace, but I started thinking if you were ever going to do something like this like I did this morning about printing it in four different uh, passes, and so the fish would be at different depths and different everything, you can really do that when you trace it and you could group those together. So we're going to look at this and we're going to resample it, but it's already at 300 dots per inch. It's a good clean. Uh, I wouldn't want to go any more than that because you don't need to. I'm going to trace, outline trace, clip art, which I use 99% of the time. This is just saying it's got to reduce it a little bit. But right here, you want this check grouped objects by color. If you have that checked, You'll see what happens. And we're going to press OK. We're going to take our new trace clip art and move it over here. You can see I just probably grabbed the, the um, well, it took out the background. So let's just delete this. But this is all grouped together. This fish, school of fish, is almost 7 inches. So we're going to change our nut factor to 8. We are going to go to arrange and ungroup, and we're going to pick, pick this orange fish, and it's picking all the orange fish because it grouped them together. So you could turn those black. You could grab the green fish, and you could turn them a gray. You could turn the blue fish and make them a lighter gray. Let's do this pink. Pink peach colored and let's turn it a little bit darker gray so it separated it in five colors where I'd separated in four but it did it a lot faster now if you were going to do this in a printing you would you could make them all black and then just and if you haven't watched that video uh, there's one that's called uh, uh, find and replace by color tips and tricks so you could do that print it but I would change the color of these to all black and then you could just get them out of the way and you could do it with lighter colors I'm not saying that but it's going to really pop out more if you run the laser faster and and, and that particular right there wouldn't look too bad for engraving as itself but then you wouldn't have to do what I did you could have just turned them all black but just so you'll kind of understand more, you would separate these in five different groups of fish. And five might be a little bit because that'd be a lot of laser engraving, even though it would be cool. So you have five different, let's just make sure there's, no, there's six different. This would be six passes. So you could run, run it three passes, run those. And with the nudge factor set, you know they're going to be back exactly where they are. You could run that into another another engraving, you know, faster and less power, and run that. So run that one maybe at a hundred power at, at fifty speed, and run this one at a hundred power at uh, seventy five speed, and run that one really light. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Just keep in mind that when you use your nudge distance, it will always go back. As long as you didn't change your nudge distance, it will always go back to the original spot. Exactly. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.